all around. Tell me what you see. Round all around. Look all around. Tell me what you see. Now one, two, three. I see a yellow sun shining bright. Yeah, I see birds that sing in the big blue sky. Yeah, I see mountains, mountains, trees so green, stars that shine on everything. I know God made all of these, all of these things. I see. Oh. super shiny. Wow, so shiny. Oh, and we saw a centipede that had so many legs. <laughs> that tickles. And the best part is, it started to rain for a couple minutes. Then we saw a beautiful rainbow in the sky. And it wasn't even on the list. Wow. Wow. So many colors. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Looking at all that you found, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. We found so many amazing things on the scavenger hunt. I want to sit down and remember them all. Stopping to rest is good. It's true. I know someone who looked at all that he made, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Oh, hi, friends. It's me, Justin the Mailman. 
We've been having so much fun learning all about creation. Let's see if we can remember everything that God made. Are you ready? Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Day one, God made light and dark. On day two, God made sky over water. On day three, God made land, plants, and sea. Day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. On day five, God made fish and birds. On day six, God made the animals. And also on day six, God made his most special creation. God made, drum roll please, people. Great job, everyone. We did it. We remembered everything God made. Do you know what God did after he made everything? On day seven, God rested. God stopped to look around at all the beautiful things he had made. God saw the sun, the land, the plants, the sea, the birds, the fish, and the animals. God saw his most fantastic, amazing creation. People, God saw everything he had made. And what did he say? God said, that's very good. Say that with me. That's very good. Great job. Let's review it one more time. On day one, God made light and dark. On day two, God made sky over the water. On day three, God made land, plants, and sea. On day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. On day five, God made fish and birds. On day six, God made animals and people. And on day seven, what did God do? That's right, God rested. God looked at everything he made and it was very good. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God looked at all he had made, and then he rested. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! God stopped to look at all the amazing things he made and it was very good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm gonna take a rest with the clubhouse bear and look at all the things we find on our scavenger hunt. I'll see you next time. Bye! saw everything he had made, and it was very good. Genesis 131. God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. Genesis 131.